Welcome back to my channel everyone, Three Tips here. And the Silver Cell has been in operation now for about two days. And uh, I wanted to get a look down inside the cell here to show you what the uh, pure silver crystal looks like after two days worth of growth. Very nice. Notice that the electrolyte has turned blue. And that is because we've got some uh, copper still in our impure silver shot that we're feeding into this thing. And that's what gives it this golden color. It's a little bit of copper on the outside of the pieces of silver. But as the uh, silver dissolves in the anode basket, the copper dissolves with it and travels down into the electrolyte. The copper will stay in solution, uh, but the silver plates out on the inside of the stainless steel bowl. Any precious metals such as gold or platinum or palladium will get trapped in the anode filter basket. And I save those and we can refine those anode filters and get the precious metals in the slimes that accumulate in the anode filter basket. Another question I was getting in the comment section of the videos is why don't I just put the cement silver directly into the anode filter basket and the answer to that question is I don't know why I've tried it a couple times in the past but the uh, cement silver clogs the filter up the electrical current drops off and it just does not work well uh, the shot is the best way to go here as uh, the feedstock um, not shot really it's more or less silver granules but this is the best way to go uh, as the feedstock feeding into the silver cell I hate getting around the silver cell without any gloves but uh, they cut a bump off my thumb here yesterday, and I can't get a glove on this hand, so I'm going to have to do this. But I keep this glass rod in here to stir up the electrolyte. As the cell operates, the silver in the electrolyte gets depleted. It gets plated out on the inside of the uh, stainless steel bowl that is the cathode for this cell. And uh, what happens is it, it gets depleted more down near the uh, right at the cathode and if we're not careful uh, we could get some of the copper depositing out with our silver unless we keep the uh, liquid moving and keep the uh, silver cell concentration the electrolyte concentration up so that's what I'm doing here and uh, yeah, we don't want copper co-depositing with our silver, but that won't happen until we get a high concentration of copper in the electrolyte and a low concentration of silver as it operates. Here you can see the uh, voltage is kept at 3.5 volts. I found that to be the best setting here uh, and constant voltage at 3.5 and then let the amps go wherever they may based on whatever conditions exist in the cell but we got 1.12 amps and now what we're going to do is I'm going to reinstall the cover down here I keep a just a paper over the opening to prevent anything from falling down in there and now what we'll do is uh, I'm going to pull off the anode electrode bar set it to the side and we're gonna put some more silver shot in here and keep this thing filled up now somebody said something about pressing this down but I've got to do that in order to make room in here all right now what we'll do is reinstall this you'll hear the power supply take off again when I do this all right, if you look up here at the power supply, you'll see that that action of filling up 
the uh, anode basket has increased the amperage. In other words, we got more contact between the uh, silver granules down in the uh, anode filter basket and the electrolyte down there. Plus, I added more electrolytes, so we should be good to go here. One more thing before we go. Let me give this thing another stir. I'm thinking about uh, coming up with a uh, some kind of mechanical device that continually stirs the electrolyte as the cell operates. And I'm uh, toying with the idea of putting some kind of Teflon or some kind of inert material down in there as a uh, stir bar. So, this will conclude the video. One more look down in here. It's just gorgeous. This is like having a silver mine in your garage. We'll cover this back up now. And uh, this will conclude the video of the Silver Cell update. I'd like to thank everyone for watching.